Hi, before we start I need to tell the truth about this tutorial and truth is always good so this tutorial might contain some very random mumbling and in some point I'm not even quite sure if it's possible to understand what I'm even trying to talk. The reason for that is uh, I have type 1 diabetes uh, sometimes I just forget to eat and that causes my blood sugar to go very low. When it happens my brain just don't work anymore very well. Not even at this very low capacity I'm running at this moment. Hey. Uh, just ask if you don't figure out something. Alright, this is one little fun tutorial about the volumes and we started by deleting this cube and make sure you have here cycles render engine. Okay, and let's start this by adding here an a UV sphere. UV sphere, sorry. And <coughs> let's scale it something like this. I don't know. Uh, it's quite okay like that. And the smooth shading. Uh, now we duplicate this cube by pressing Shift plus D. And let's hide this one we just created. And uh, we go to edit mode by pressing tab and now select this by uh, holding control and repeatedly pressing plus in the numpad <coughs> and maybe something like this is quite okay so let's delete those and now we uh, select this by pressing alt plus shift plus right mouse button and E to extrude and then S to scale. And let's scale it some to something like this. And then press again E to extrude. And then press Alt plus M. And merge at center. Okay. And let's create a little bit loop cuts with Ctrl plus R. And uh, mouse wheel you can control how much you wanna have this and I wanna have something like this here okay and now we can center, uh, select this center one here and let's uh, select from this menu here this enable and uh, press, press G and with mouse wheel you can control the brush size so something like this I think is quite okay. Uh, I'm just trying to create some sort of hill there. And I think this is quite okay like that. And uh, let's now select from this menu this random file off. And let's move again. And maybe I I do here in other places also this kind of randomness like that and <coughs> now we can unhide the other uh, sphere press alt plus he ho what is the English version of that letter I don't know ho it's I don't know you understood I think so let's scale this little bit bigger than the original O with Z you can see through it but uh, we make this uh, completely wireframe by selecting it and then let's go to this menu and maximum draw this uh, drop menu here maximum draw type here wire and now it's wireframe which is very good and uh, let's select this one and let's tra track a track here this widget and create new editor here and let's press uh, C plus uh, F3 to have all right uh, to have here uh, new uh, node editor and let's select this one here and then press new you will have these uh, nodes here so we delete this uh, we just select this one with left mouse button and then press X 
and it's gone. And instead of that we add here control A. Uh, we add here uh, what am I doing? Uh, shader and uh, volume scatter and let's connect it there. So now we, if we render this out uh, by pressing shift plus Z you must have your mouse in this uh, editor. So you will see that it's uh, very dark and very weird looking thing. Uh, by the way, you should have GPU if you if your computer supports that. It's way faster. Okay, and I'm going to, going to remove a little bit density from it. So I think something like zero by by uh, point three is quite okay. And let's select this lamp object here or if you don't have it, then, then just add uh, light source control A lamp and so on. Okay, and let's make it a spot light like this and let's rotate it so it's pointing this or brand new sphere and maybe something like this and I'm uh, changing this value here so it's something like this. And no no we can we can't anymore see anything because the light source is so so weak that we need to make it stronger to have the effect there. So click this use nodes here and let's make there something very crazy. Like I don't know five thousand. And the color should be something like yellow. Okay, and let's select this volume again and let's change the color to to I don't know yellow and now you see that when the color is yellow you see that it's blue and that's very strange I have no I don't know the technical reasons why blender does it like this but we can select the color we want so by just using the opposite color from this wheel. So this is going to be yellow and, and this is green and so on. But I choose something like this. So basically I'm trying to have this color there. Okay. And we need, we need to create the uh, rays there. So let's enter the cursor first. Uh, Shift plus C. And let's add there a plane object and let's move it a little bit up and scale it and control A to s apply the rotation and scale and let's go to edit mode and uh, W press W and subdivide and let's add there uh, we need to do that again subdivide again and all right now we have very much details there which is nice and uh, in edit mode go to face selection mode and let's go to select menu and choose this checker diesel uh, checker deselect what select che uh, wait a minute I'm sorry I'm <laughs> trying to say that we need to use this random and something like this and now we can with this value control okay I, I saw it again so select random and you should have there select and now uh, just uh, edit the value so there's quite much of little uh, selected faces and now we just delete those oh delete faces press X and so that's it and now let's see how it looks like there. Okay, now we have those very nice rays there. But uh, I'm going to duplicate this. Okay, not like that. Duplicate and G and uh, disable this. And then I'm going to rotate it in Z axis a little bit. And I need to make this light source 
stronger, even stronger. So press multiply and like five. So we have very strong light source there. Now you see those, those light spots there. Um, I think I'm going to add a little bit more holes there. So select random and delete faces. And let's see. Okay, I think it's better now. It will do. And let's select this. And you can now control how sharp these uh, are by adjusting this value, the uh, size value. And but you can't ca go too sharp because it will create those very ugly looking artifacts to the ground. So so it's okay to have something something quite big. So you have, I, I think, more natural looking uh, things there going on. All right. Okay, this is quite nice. Let's create a material for this uh, thing. And we click again this new button here. And let's name this as a uh, ground. <coughs> and uh, we create it by mixing glossy. Uh, let control A search glossy SDF and join those together alt plus right mouse button and drag and drop there. If you do can't do it then activate node wrangle this uh, uh, edit uh, thing there. It's very good and it makes your life easier. Okay. And let's see now. Okay, it looks very strange. Let's change the color to green. And um, we need the text rest here. So I downloaded from Pixabay few textures and I edited them a little bit in Photoshop to create them uh, seamless. So now I'm going to add those textures here and you can download the textures. Um, I put there a zip file in the description. So let's write the image texture like this and drag and drop it there. And let's open the texture in the folder wherever it is in your uh, folder system. And I'm using this one. No. This one, yes. And Let's then duplicate this by pressing Ctrl plus D and open the other texture, which is this one. And we are going to mix those the same way as we mixed the uh, other uh, those two. Sorry. Uh, and uh, I created those by pressing Ctrl plus T and like that. Okay, so drag and drop this widget here to this one and let's use this object here and we are here using the box and let's use a little bit blend and here also the box and a little bit blend. So let's see closer what we have here. Let's make a little bit smaller that uh, so let's write the uh, two, for example. Okay, I'm going to hide this one. Press O to hide it, and let's see again. Maybe three. Okay, and we need to control a little bit this because we don't wanna have the uh, grass and the. Uh, ground in the same place. So let's add the uh, um, gradient texture, this one, and let's put this there in this factor, and let's add there also those texture coordinates. And wait a minute, let's use this one here. And now when we press this Ctrl plus Shift plus left mouse button, we see that we have here this gradient. But um, maybe I will add there also ramp node, color ramp here. 
and no, no one can uh, control how much there is. If we now uh, click this like that, you will see that we have their grass and there will we have that other texture. And I think the tree is a little bit too much, so let's try to... Okay, better. And now we need to rotate this one, so let's write the 90. What? What's going on? Okay, I need to figure this out. Wait a minute. Oh, we wanna use here radial. So this one is the correct texture. And now we can control a little bit better what's going on there. And... Wait a minute. Why it's in, it in that cor corner? Ah. Ah, sorry about the all, all the confusion. Uh, we wanna use the object coordinates here also, and the linear texture. And here we put, put the, the 90 degrees. And now we can control the texture a little bit better. Okay, the problem is that center point here. Uh, the texture is calculated from that point. So let's go to edit mode and move this a little bit up. And now we have the texture like that. <laughs> Finally. And let's switch those so we have bottom the ground texture and up the grass texture. And this is very nice now. And let's see which says. Alright. And we don't need that much, much glossy there. Only a little bit will be okay. And because we have here these object things, uh, texture coordinates object, it's too small details. So let's select those all and let's write there something like uh, point 0.5. Okay, that's still too big. So, point two. Okay, we need to go smaller. Point one. Okay, we need to. Okay, let's select those as point zero one. What is going on? Point zero zero one. Why? Why it's not affecting? Ah, uh, this is wrong. Why? Why am I so idiot? Why am I so idiot? We need to change this one. Point five. Okay, this will do. Okay, I need to edit a little bit this because I do so many mistakes. I wanted to record very very clean uh, thing, but here we are. All right, and now we can add here a little bit noise to have this those textures mixing together a little bit more. So let's add there a noise texture, right there, noise, and mix those two together, and. We wanna control this with ramp node, color ramp. And let's just move these values. If we change the scale a little bit first and details to the top and maybe a little bit distortion also. So you must just find a spot where you think there is good amount of those little spots. Okay. I think it's quite okay now. Uh, now we can select this, uh, this edge uh, ring here, face ring. 
right, Alt plus Shift plus right mouse button and then Control plus until we have selected everything there in the top area. And let's create there a vertex group by pressing this button in this tab. And this is going to be grass. And press this assign button. So now if we click this select or deselect we can we have we, we have saved this selection and it's very good. And now let's create a grass object. And I'm going to uh, create it from the plane like this one and let's scale it in y-axis so it's something like this and rotate in y-axis 90 degrees and let's move it like that so it's like a grass and let's create a little bit details there and now just duplicate it and rotate it in z-axis and rotate also in y-axis like that, maybe a little bit smaller. And duplicate those both and scale something like this. It don't need to be very perfect because we have thousands of those and you know they just are like that. Okay, select it and let's go here and enable the smooth shading. And maybe I fix a little bit this uh, edge slide and move there and edge slide and move there. And this is going to be there. Okay, this is our grass object and I'm not going to... Maybe I scale this. I'm not going to texture it this time. I'm just adding some material here, generated ma material. So let's create here this new button. And this is going to be grass. And here are our nodes. So let's create the color like a green or something like that. And let's add the glossy PSDF. And let's mix those together. And let's add the uh, ramp node, color ramp, and let's let's track and drop this color here, and this something like I don't know, like this, and then another color which, which is something like I don't know, like this. So now we have three colors here, and let's connect this there, and then let's add the object info node, and this random here. Let's connect it there. And no, let's do. Uh, okay, okay, not let let's, let's not duplicate this. Let's move this a little bit and let's see how it, our grass looks like. Okay, let's add there add shader and then translucent uh, one here and let's connect this one there. So now it's like I don't know very cool looking thing and mm, now if we duplicate this grass object it always is different colors and that, that was the purpose of this whole thing so uh, let's name this one to grass and this one we should uh, rename it to ground and Let's unhide the volume. So Alt plus H, and this should be volume. And it's in the wrong position because we edited a little bit that ground object. So let's move it to the correct place. And let's see. Okay, it's quite nice. Okay, so the next thing is to set up that particle system for those grass objects. So let's go here in the particle uh, settings and click this new button. And let's change this to hair and you will see that there is a hair everywhere. But instead of using those we are using this object and click this little uh, pipette here 
and select this grass object. And uh, we need to rotate this because it's, you know, very much wrong lo looking now. <coughs> so rotate in X axis. And then we need to move it uh, in the correct spot. There. Okay, I guess it's kind of okay. Uh, then uh, we need to use here vertex groups and select this grass, the vertex group we just created and use this length also. Okay, so now the grass is growing only in this uh, up part and it seems a little bit there also. I'm adding the loop cut and I'm, I need to fix this. So let's select this and control minus and okay, oh, control I to invert control plus and remove. And now the grass is fixed. Okay. <coughs> let's go back to grass settings. Let's click this advanced checkbox here and let's check this rotation and let's uh, move this to one and this to two so now every grass object is rotated differently and we can add a little bit more of those I guess and actually I think we should also let's uh, use this also so they are like a little bit I'm not ha very happy even uh, with this particle system because I wanna have particles also there on the edge area so I'm going to uh, let's add those sign okay okay now it's good and we have here grass and the next thing is to add the a tree so uh, let's select this and let's select this center point here and control s and cursor to select it and um, now you should have the an IV generator um, let's write no not IV sorry sapling uh, this sapling t tree gen you should activate that <coughs> to uh, do this next part okay so um, Let's add the, uh, I need to find it, uh, in the curve here, control A and curve and sapling tree gen. And we will have the, this tree, but it's too big and it looks bad. <laughs> and so I need to fix it. So here we have the settings and I click this bevel to make it, you know, geometry and um, then I just randomly <laughs> change these settings because, you know, they are uh, kind of, you know, you can do whatever you want to do with this. You can do, for example, a palm tree if you know the settings. So just play with the settings, but don't add leaves there because we will do the leaves later with the particle engine. So I'm going to add this branch splitting here and then let's add new level there. Something like that. Maybe I also split the uh, base once. And let's check. 
this is a little bit laggy you know it it don't very much uh, very fast react when you do something but just test whatever those settings are doing and you will maybe find good looking tree for your project Okay, but to be honest, I don't know what those are doing. Okay, not that. That's crazy. Rotate angle. I'm trying to have those uh, going down like this. So they are like hanging but I need to find the correct setting for that okay not that this is just crazy uh -huh. Branch radius. Let's see. Okay, I'm touching this. Branch growth. Let's see what happens with this. Nothing very special. Okay, now we are getting the Maybe. I don't know. This looks very crazy. Let's just... Let's just play with this. What if I have another... Uh, ...lever there? So let's add the fourth level. What happens? Okay, not that much. That's too much. I think I'm going to do go with this one. Maybe I... Uh, if I remember where to have more radius to this. It's maybe a little bit too long. Yeah, it's going through there. So let's make it shorter. Okay, this will do. So now we can... Uh, I can press Alt plus C to uh, convert it to mesh from curve. And now it's completely mesh object. Like that. And that's what we wanted to do. So... Now we are going to uh, with weight paint paint the, the areas where the leaves are. So I'm just I have these kind of settings there. I just paint the because I think the leaves are like the outer branches like that. So I do this kind of I don't know mask and. You don't need to be perfect with this one either, because it's natural. The <laughs> crazy things happen when uh, you look the natural. There are all kind of things happening. So okay, I think this is okay. So now I just rename these leaves and. Let's go back to object mode and let's save this. Okay, and uh, we add here a new particle system and using the hair and let's use their the leaves there also. Okay, and now we need to create the leaf. So 
Let's go to another layer. I'm actually moving this also to other layer. So let's add there a plane. And this is going to be our leaf. But I'm using here a background image. So uh, let's check this out and let's click this add. Uh, and let's open something. I think I have somewhere in my folder system some images that I took a uh, year ago. Which one is good for this tree? I, I think this is the one we are going with. I will add this image also to the uh, to the zip file. So let's uh, just edit this until we have the correct shape like this and let loop cuts there and move those vertices and it don't need to be perfect just something you are kind of happy there's so many of those that nobody is looking only one of those expect if you are going to render some very close up uh, uh, images then you maybe need to add more details but I'm going with this one <laughs> and um, now we need to unwrap this so let's select everything and press U and this unwrap and let's add there a new editor and T and uh, UV, UV image editor and let's open the leaf picture which is this one and let's uh, edit it until it, it it's uh, good and it fits inside of this picture something like this maybe All right, and now we need to create the material for this image, this leaf. And I just click this and let's add the leaf. And it's going to be a mix of glossy and diffuse, just like always. And then we add the add shader and translucent. And let's connect it there. And then we add the, this image. So let's add the image texture and connect it there and open the leaf. And now we can look it. And it's it's looking very crazy. So we need to edit it a little bit. Okay, I think this fixed it. Now let's add the curve RGB curves and make let's make this a little bit. Uh, different you know like that okay so the leaf is kind of uh, good now let's add an and bump node also and connect it there and there and there and now we have some sort of bump mac being there but I can't see actually anything but should be working now and I'm also adding the uh, mix RGB and with this I'm going to control th so the uh, so the bump mapping is not affecting the lighting so it creates less noise uh, and we add the light path node and camera ray to this factory and now it fixes the problem if it's camera ray, then it's rendering this bump map, but if it's something else, then it renders as this color here as a bump map. So basically there is no bump map to anything else expect for the camera. Expect like this. I can see how the effect, how it's working. Okay, good. And 
Now we can rename this to leaf. Where is it? There. And we need to also move it a little bit so this uh, median point is in there. So let's add it there. Like that. And let's enable the smooth setting also. Where is it? There. Okay, good. Let's go back to the tree and the particle system and let's select object and here we write the leaf. And those uh, leaves are a little bit too big, at least for me. So I just scale them like that. And let's enable this advanced and um, rotation and then this, so we have some sort of randomness there going on. And let's render. Okay, I wanna have a little bit more of those leaves there. So I just write there like 5000. Okay, now it's better to me at least. And I also wanna control this. Um, I shift click this so I can see the leaf there. Uh, I wanna have some color, color, color variation there, so I add the ramp node, color ramp, and then I add the mix RGB, and I connect this there, and let's see, uh, I, with Ctrl B I create this selection there. So now we have there like this, but I add there also um, object info node and this random. So now every color, uh, every leaf is a little bit different colors, but uh, this is not exactly what we wanted. We wanna have the original color, but little bit tint with this other so from there. So now I can select there some random colors, which I think our tree can have. I don't know, I'm just adding. Maybe even a little bit reddish or orange or something like that. Now with this we can control how much we different colors we can have there. I think this is quite okay now. So let's go there. And let's go to the camera view. Okay. Uh, we need to <laughs> create a camera view. So and uh Ctrl plus Alt plus B, you make that border disappear. So let's go somewhere like this and then press Alt Ctrl 0 and Shift plus F and then move with uh, cursor keys to a place where you think the camera is okay. I think I wanna go a little bit up. Of course, we will not wanna render these, so make sure they are not in the view. Okay, we are getting there. Maybe I fly a little bit closer. All right, now I will uh, edit a little bit this lighting. Something like this. And move this. You can, by the way, animate this by, for example, rotating this randomly. And you create nice light effects there. It's very cool. But I think this uh, uh, cone is a little bit too big. I mean, I wanna have a little bit uh, sharper sun ray there coming to that tree. So. I go to the settings here and let's just change this. Okay, is it too small? Okay, for me the good setting is 16. I need to rotate this light source a little bit to uh, so it comes a little bit more from this direction, so the tree don't look so dark. Ah, it's nose. Okay. 
Um, so rotate in Z axis like this and then move there. And I need to move those also. And let's see again. Okay, it's better, I think. Um, <coughs> I need to rotate also a little bit there. And I wanna edit also the leaf texture so the tree, the tree don't look so dark also because of the leaves. So what I'm going to do is to add here a curve node. RGB curves. And then just add a little bit more light there. Maybe a little bit more green also. And blue, I don't know. Okay. And we need to create also some sort of bark texture or bark material for this tree. But because those branches are not going to show very well from this image, I'm not I don't care so much about this material. So I just name it the bark and let's add diffuse color to something like this. And let's see again. Okay, I think it's kind of better. And let's add the more light sources. And I'm going to duplicate this one and let's make this as a point light. And let's see how it affects. I wanna have some sort of highlights also in the bottom side of this. Okay, it's crazy. <laughs> crazy. Um, let's uh, make it a little bit smaller, something like this. And more, move it down. Okay. Um, let's duplicate this to this side also. And the blue color is a little bit disappearing from this. Um, let's see what happens if... Okay, I can, <laughs> I can edit this effect very much by uh, changing the color and because the light sources are yellow I can kind of make the sky back uh, blue by you know this is very strange but it works like that okay uh, maybe I uh, make this light a little bit more neutral or even blue what happens like that Okay, not blue. And if I uh, remove a little bit the density, what happens? Okay, it's not good. Or maybe point two. Uh, let's see what happens. Oh, we should actually let's try here in uh, in world settings. What happens with the sky texture? Okay, there is more life there, I think. But. I don't wanna render this guy, so that's why I go here to film settings and I click this transparent. And now, now we have this background image we added there, so I wanna remove it from the image. Alright.
And this I could see a little bit better. Uh, first, the sun rays and the tree. And there are <laughs> just things you can't have the boat. You either see the tree good or you see the rays good. If you render this out in one pass. And I am going to render it in one pass. If you know how to render it differently, then just do it. But uh, I instead use Photoshop to create, uh, edit the image. So, uh, or you can use Jim also. Um, let's add the bump map because it's very much too clean, this, this surface here. Look at this, for example. So, let's add the bump. And we need to click uh, this and use it as bump map because this is the finished mixed texture of these all textures, so that's why I'm using it. Okay, there is bumps. And maybe a little bit less strength. And let's add the uh, mix RGB and then uh, light path node and use this camera ray. You already know the reason for this. All right, I guess we can render this out now. Uh, let's change a little bit the settings. I, I'm going to render with 500 uh, samples because this uh, volume domain can cause very much noise. So this is the way to avoid it at least a little bit. And then let's go to uh, light path tab here and remove those. Uh, two checkboxes and let's remove also bonuses. We don't need so many bonuses. I don't know. I'm, I'm just randomly checking something and uh, Is there anything else I can tweak? This this is not going to do anything for the final render. It just helps me if I uh, uncheck this, it's going to render also those. So this is very good sometimes to use. It it can save a little bit time for you when you are writing your uh, computer to render the preview uh, image of the render. Okay, I guess I'm going to render this out now. So let's press F12 and here we go. I'm going to pause this because this is going to take a little bit time. Um, I think there is a problem. The render came out like this but it's not what I wanted to do so um, I'm going to scale this little bit down to make a little bit smaller scene and let's see how it looks like now. I, th I think it looks very much better now. Um, it was just one small thing to do, but something came out that uh, it renders better when the uh, domain is smaller. So uh, let's make this uh, grass not grow so crazy. But now I have this problem there and I fix it by moving these two a little bit there. And I think I need to also scale them a little bit bigger. All 
Or maybe I've moved him there. Um, what if I have subdivision surface on this object? Okay, this will fix it. Uh, let's move them back. And now I think I'm ready to render this out. Actually, I'm going to make those leaves a little bit smaller because they became crazy when I scaled this uh, scene. And maybe I make this light source also stronger. And these maybe don't need to be so strong, so something like this maybe, let's see. And the same for this. <coughs> mm, and this can be a little bit smaller also, so the effect is more clear. I guess this will do. So now I'm going to render this again. F12. Alright, I opened the image here in Photoshop. And we have here, I, I don't like these, but I'm not going to fix those either. I'm just leaving it like that. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm, I need here some very dark background because this volume is not going to be visible with very light background. But I still want to have something in the background, so so I create this gradient here. And um, let's make this something like, like this. And then just create the gradient. Oh, invert. Okay, not. No. Uh, let's invert it like that. Okay. <coughs> and now I, with Ctrl plus U, uh, colorize this uh, background. And let's make some space blue. Like this. And maybe I add another gradient. Uh, okay, wrong button. Uh, uh, like this, and then press overlay, and maybe invert this. And lower the opacity a little bit. Okay, then the last effect in the background will be um, first, let's fill it with black and then uh, noise, add noise, and this is okay, and then pixelate, and then pointillis. Pointillis, how do you pronounce this? Pointillis, I don't know. <laughs> it's a very stupid. Okay, this is the effect I wanted to do. And then let's uh, blur and then radial blur. And this 60% is quite okay with zoom and maybe best. Okay. And now let's wait a little bit. Okay, let's do it again. <coughs> okay, and now I set this to overlay. Okay, maybe I remove the colors here. Um, and let's find some 
um, good method to mix those layers together. This looks actually quite nice, but it makes my volume disappear. Divide you overlay color dodge where is it? This was actually quite nice also. So I'm using this one. And now I'm um, selecting everything and then Ctrl plus C plus C and Ctrl plus C to uh, Ctrl plus V and we copy it this whole layer now and let's go to camera raw filter to fix the noise on and fix to everything actually and let's add a little bit more contrast and something like this to here and maybe more colors just because we can something like this maybe <coughs> and now the noise problem so reduce noise with this one and also color noise a little bit out and do I wanna sharpen this Maybe I sharpen it a little bit. And highlights, I wanna have some warm there. And the background will be bluish or, or if even purple, purple. Maybe. No. I think this is quite okay. Okay, this is good setting, I think. And what happens with this? No, I'm not going to touch this. But maybe a little bit vignette. Okay. Okay, this is. This is now and this was before. I think it came out quite nicely. <coughs> and I think we can stronger these uh, highlights here. So let's create another layer and let's create a gradient. This kind of gradient. And let's see what happens with this. Okay, nothing good. Uh, let's change random and use this noise method here and more roadness and this this is the setting okay I will create here the gradient and let's make it overlay but maybe somewhere here okay and let's check out if we remove a little bit this uh, from there for example I think I need to rotate it a little bit. Okay, this will do. So let's press out with this mask those not needed things there. I don't know. 
I don't like this part here. Maybe it's only there. Like coming out from the passage. Push. Uh, multiply. Okay. Not that. Overlay is good. It's good uh, to at least almost everything. <coughs> Alright, then the last um, curve here. And I don't know, something like this maybe. Maybe I can try the Nix collection uh, fil filters also. So let's duplicate. Uh, uh, wait a minute. I just can add here. This is free and you can download these. Uh, filters, they are Google filters and they are very nice. So just Google Nick collection and you will find these. They will work even without Photoshop. Okay, now I need to copy everything to this Nick collection. Let's see. My T is getting cold. I don't wanna go black and white. Let's see. These are very new for me. These filters. I have not used those very much. Or almost. Almost not at all. So I'm just I'm learning at the same time I'm creating a tutorial about this and it's uh, it's kind of crazy you know but maybe you will learn something about this workflow I I kind of like this it's like an invert vignette I don't know Maybe not for this image. Uh, I go to that other analog effect pro 2. The collection I'm more used to work with. Easy to go crazy with this. Too easy. Just checking some settings. Okay, what we what is this? I don't like how those filters very often remove all the contrast from the image. So I need to fix it all the time. But you know. See no difference here. Lens vignette. Maybe we don't add vignette. But some dirt I wanna add to. I found 
find some good dirt. <coughs> I guess this is quite okay. Can I rotate this? No, I can't. At least I don't know how to rotate. Okay. Film type. Warm. Cool. Sappled. Um. I don't know. I'm using so much time with this one. Okay, I'm just pressing OK, and let's see what we have. Okay, just render it out. Let's zip little D. Okay, so this is now, and this was before. To be honest, <laughs> it was better before, maybe. Maybe I add here something like luminosity. So the luminosity means that you will add the uh, value contrast here, but you don't affect the colors. So it's nice way to mix those layers together. Alright, it came out good. Now this one. Okay, I'm going to save this out, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and see you next time.